An investigation is underway this evening after a pregnant Longhorn was shot and killed in Slippery Rock Township. Jennifer Barrasso is live in Lawrence County with more on what happened. Jennifer. Thanks, Susan. Well, Doug Michaels, the owner of the Texas Longhorn, is sad, devastated, and furious. And he doesn't know why someone would want to shoot and kill his pregnant cow, a rare cow. He found her lifeless body down on Copper Road, and tonight he wants justice. Yeah, it's just crazy that you know, somebody would do something like that. It's just, you know, it's senseless. The pictures tell the heartbreaking story. A pregnant Texas Longhorn named Maple, found by her owner, shot to death in this rural area along Copper Road in Slippery Rock Township Wednesday afternoon. The family too broken up to talk, so their veterinarian did. They're pretty upset about that, pretty angry that somebody would do that. Dr. Robert Morrow removed the bullet from Maple's left side. He believes the shooter used a rifle and was experienced. It was a quick kill. It went right through the lungs. Somebody knew what they were doing when they shot her. Investigators say the Longhorn was outside her fenced area and had been for quite some time. Owner Doug Michaels was trying to bait her back in by using food, but this time he discovered a gruesome sight. Just a real shame. She was a young cow. Absolutely no reason to you know, just shoot animals for no good reason. State police say whoever did this will be charged with a felony. They admit solving this case will be tough with no witnesses. They talk to neighbors like Alex Ringler, who often saw Maple near her property. It's really sad, you know. Um, we saw it around here, and I felt like it was kind of a part of our neighborhood for a while, and I just I don't know who would do that. And the owner's daughter posted this on Facebook yesterday. Samantha Jones wrote, quote, It's really and truly hard to believe how many inconsiderate people there are in the world. Not only did they senselessly take her life, they also killed the calf she was carrying, who was due in two months. Reporting live in Lawrence County, Jennifer Barrasso, KDKA News.